picking up some books. So Jupiter has just moved into Scorpio at 11.21 p.m. through the night. And um, for us, we want to acknowledge this astrological alignment. Jupiter ingresses Scorpio we see the red planet the largest planet in our solar system it takes 12 years to move through the entire zodiac each sign spending roughly a year in each and so this movement of entering Scorpio Jupiter shows us where we need to look it's an expansive energy and it's an energy of growth it takes us to new frontiers new frontiers to be conquered and explored to help us find meaning in life. Often we see Jupiter as benefic. Like a good luck charm, but he is moving into Scorpio. energy represents the water element and it's a calling this time for us to go deep beneath the surface and to allow what is hidden there to emerge we don't want to dig intentionally but to be aware that the natural energy of this time is that things will be emerging from the subconscious to the consciousness so that we can transform and have healing around these lies that may be buried beneath or half-truths that we've been happily living by. It's now time to go deeper than that and to really bring things up to the surface for integration. energy is to do with anything about death, taboo, the subconscious and also the dark forces, black magic. So again it's a time to know how to protect yourself, to protect your auric field and also how to manage your behaviors and emotions so that we're not being pulled into other people's emotional storms. The best way to work with this transit of Jupiter entering Scorpio is to become psychologically and emotionally grounded, being aware of our thoughts, behaviours and emotions and seeing what the motives underneath them are. By being truthful with oneself we can allow these emotions to surface to be seen and to be viewed from a non-judgmental lens known as the compassionate observer witness. And then as we see these emotions, rather than getting stuck in the energy of them, we can shift it through pranayama, physical movement. And then we offer this emotion, behavior or pattern that has come up to the surface for transformation. We can offer it into the light of our own heart through prayer. We stand here with our feet upon the earth in honor of our location in time and space. We reside here at this moment and call upon the truth of the one to be cast across this plane now. We stand here with our intent of freedom of heart to shine forward and bring the lost souls of ourselves who are emerging from the darkness to be renewed in the knowledge of the truth 
that is here and now. This is a defining moment as we call upon this truth to prevail throughout our field of thought. We sing with the chorus of the divine knowing so that we may guide these aberrant aspects home. This song floods our heart with a resonance of the truth that reigns upon this plane of time at this moment with our intent solely focused on the one. <laughs> 